Virgin Galactic rocked the aviation world yesterday with news that they were entering the supersonic race with their own incredible Mark III supersonic jet. How fast does it go and when will we fly on it? Watch to find out. If you're new to the channel, I do a range of other cool videos, so check them out and subscribe. Virgin Galactic, a brand of Sir Richard Branson famous for its low Earth orbit rocket ship, has decided to throw in its hat into the aviation marketplace, specifically with a supersonic jet capable of flying at Mark III. This is a big deal because it's roughly double the speed of the Concorde. The company has only finished a mission concept review with NASA, but is confident to move forward to further development. Speaking to the press, Chief Space Officer George Whitesides at Virgin Galactic said, We are excited to complete the mission concept review and unveil this initial design concept of a high-speed aircraft, which we envision as blending safe and reliable commercial travel with an unrivaled customer experience. We are pleased to collaborate with the innovative team at Rolls-Royce as we strive to develop sustainable, cutting-edge propulsion systems for an aircraft, and we are pleased to be working with the FAA to ensure that our designs make a practical impact from the start. We have made great progress so far, and we look forward to opening up a new frontier in high-speed travel. And high-speed travel is something that should be sought after. While you can pay to fly an incredible luxury, you cannot arrive at your destination any faster than someone sitting in the back of the plane. This will change everything. Let's discuss what it will be like on board this new Virgin Galactic aircraft. According to the airframe maker, the cabin will seat 9 to 19 passengers depending on how much luxury the aircraft is fitted with. There will be enough room for 9 lie flat beds or the equivalent of a Singapore Airbus A380 first class cabin in the low density configuration, or 19 seats if the operator wants to fly it in a high density configuration. Before you lambust the designers for not including lie-flat seats on board the high-density configuration, remember that passengers on board won't need to sleep when they fly to their destination at Mark 3. And what do we mean by Mark 3? Well, Mark 3 is the equivalent of 3,700 km per hour or 2,300 miles per hour. In real terms, if you are flying from London from New York, which is 5,500 kilometers or 3,500 miles, it would take approximately 7 hours and 50 minutes on a standard subsonic aircraft, 2 hours and 52 minutes is the record time of the Concorde, or Virgin Galactic's new offering can fly that distance in 1 hour and 30 minutes. This is twice the speed of the Concorde. Once you understand how fast this aircraft is, it becomes no contest for anything else on the market. While researching for this video, this author also tested some other destinations with staggering eye-water results. Sydney to Melbourne in 11 minutes and 33 seconds. Sydney to London in 4 hours, 35 minutes and 5 seconds. Los Angeles to New York in 1 hour and 3 minutes and 46 seconds. Los Angeles to San Francisco in 9 minutes and 3 seconds. London to Paris in 5 minutes and 35 seconds. London to Dubai in 44 minutes and 19 seconds. Tokyo to Los Angeles in 2 hours, 22 minutes and 37 seconds. And lastly, Tokyo to sunny Honolulu in 1 hour, 40 minutes and 20 seconds. There are plenty of issues with the above numbers, such as takeoff and landings, range, and sonic boom restrictions, but it does give you a great perspective. The aircraft will be flying so fast that it will need to fly at 60,000 feet to avoid other aircraft. But the team at Virgin Galactic plan to have it land at normal airports and use the same infrastructure, such as airport gates. 
From here, Virgin Galactic will progress to the next phase of design, consisting of defining specific system architectures into configurations and determining which materials to use in the design and manufacturing of the aircraft. The team will also work to address key challenges in thermal management, maintenance, noise, emissions and economics that routine high-speed commercial flights would entail. Just like the battle between the Concorde, the TU-144 and the Boeing 2707, could we be entering the next supersonic race? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video today, feel free to check out my other content and subscribe. Have a great day.